Sa video na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo paano ko ginawang interactive ang aming newsletter. Aking gamit po ay Adobe InDesign. Sa newsletter na ito, ayan, makikita nyo yung table of contents. Mula sa table of contents, pwede nyo nang i-click yung title ng news. Diretso na kayo sa news. Kapag ang news naman ay mahaba at may makita kayong jump line, Pwede naman ninyong i-click ang jump line. Diretso na kayo sa karugtong ng news. At kung nasa kalagitnaan naman kayo ng aming newsletter, pwede naman ninyong i-click ang footer nito para makabalik kayo sa table of contents. E ang mga feature na yan sa aming newsletter ay ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa. idea na ito ay bumangon kung nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic. Diba? Nawala yung printing ng mga newsletters. Katapos binabasa na natin ang mga newsletters puro e-copy na lang. Naka-PDF na siya. So, ganung paraan hindi ka na-scroll ng scroll kapag nagbabasa ka ng aming newsletter. Isa pa, ang aming newsletter ay free. Meron kaming mailing list na pwede ninyong ilagay ang inyong email address para mapadalhan namin kayo. So, yan ang ating tingnan sa video na ito. Kapag kayo ay gumagawa ng newsletter sa inyong opisina o kaya sa inyong mga paaralan, maganda ang video ito para sa inyo. Di na natin pag-usapan ang layout nito. Diretso tayo kung paano natin ginawang interactive ang newsletter na ito. So, let's start! So let's open our newsletter using Adobe InDesign and jump image to to the page to create new hyperlink destination. So let's start in page 3. Okay, right click, click interactive and click new hyperlink destination. This is the first thing we do. Para lahat ng mga news titles, dito natin ililid sa new hyperlink destination. Click OK. Then we'll do the next pages a little bit faster. Now we are done with the new hyperlink destination. We will create now the new hyperlink. So, highlight, interactive, click new hyperlink. Then you have to link this one to page. Anong page yung una article natin? Page 3. You choose 3. Then click Okay. So, ayan. Bilisan na natin sa sunod. Diyan din ang gawin ninyo. Highlight. Right click. Then, click interactive. Click new hyperlink. Tapos, piliin nyo link to page. Anong page siya nakalink? So, ayan na. Let's do it faster. Enjoy doing this one. Para hindi kayo mapagod. After doing it, we will save it and then we will try to export. Export ang gamitin natin. Hindi ang Adobe PDF presets. 
So click export. Then save type as interactive. Dapat ang type ng pagka-save mo is Adobe PDF Interactive. Then, baguhin ko muna ang pangalan. Lagyan natin ng interactive. Para lang malaman natin na itong PDF na ito interactive siya. Then, click save. Okay ka pa pala dito. Huwag mo nang galawin yan. Sorry, may kulang ako na font. Just click OK. OK. Then, it will generate PDF. And it will open to its default browser. Now, let's try it. Gumagana ba ang ating hyperlink? Nagiging interactive na ba ito? So, let's go to table of contents. Click natin yung number 3, page 3. Okay. Tama. Testingan natin yung ibang pages. So, ito rin ang gawin ninyo. Ito yung paggawa ng hyperlink papunta sa page. Ang sunod nating pag-aralan naman ay yung jump line. Okay. Let's go straight to the jump line. This first jump line. Let's go to page where the news will continue. This is the one. What we are going to do is create hyperlink destination. Okay. We have to highlight the text. Right click. Interactive. New hyperlink destination. Okay, what we're going to do this time is text anchor. So that's it. Click OK. Then we'll go to the next hyperlink destination for for a jump line. Yeah, highlight the text. Click interactive. New hyperlink destination. Still text anchor. So for all the jump lines, uh, so for all the jump line destinations, we will be using text anchor. Okay, interactive, new hyperlink destination, text anchor, click OK. Okay, we're done with the hyperlink destination of the jump line. What we're going to do is connect the jump line to that hyperlink destination right click click interactive click new hyperlink and then choose text anchor okay so the OTR secretary from page 3 click OK and we're done that's how you are going to do the hyperlink for the jump lines then we have to save our newsletter again then we have to click export again and save just replace the previous PDF interactive click OK click OK and then faster We'll be generating our PDF and we will try to test what we have done, if it's working or not. So we'll go to page 3 to our first jump line. This is the news. This is our first jump line. Click. Okay, we'll click it. Okay. So it jumped to page 9. So we'll try the other jump line. Okay. 
Okay, we have NCCA News. Click the jump line. And it goes back to page 10. So it's okay. It's correct. We have done it correctly. And then, then for the last jump line, from page 14 to page 13, it's okay. So we're done. Now what we're going to do is connect the footer to the table of contents. So let's start. Let's go to page 2 and create our new hyperlink destination. And to the next page, let's click on the footer for the new hyperlink. Click OK. Then to the next page. So this is what you're going to do for the rest of your pages. Click OK. Then we'll save it. We'll export. And we will try if it is working. So this is all what i have done to make this newsletter interactive hope, hope you enjoyed the video you may write your comment below please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you and see you on our next video